In 2017, Princess Cruises hired me to shoot still images and videos on the Silk Road journey, a 49-day cruise from Rome to Shanghai. I brought along my buddy Yuri as an assistant and a music composer for the project. I tried daily vlogging at the time, but our days were already super packed and I had to edit and deliver content for the client as a priority. We shot with Michelin chefs, met an NBA player, and traveled to 15 countries. What I want to do now is take a look at the footage and share with you the process of what it is to shoot and produce content on a cruise ship, with its limitations and being in a bubble for two months. Hello everybody and welcome back. In case you missed the last episodes, we made our way through the Suez Canal and admired the beautiful Egyptian shorelines along the way. If you haven't already, feel free to watch the first few vlogs. The link of the playlist is in the description below. The next few days were spent at sea, so that meant no stop at all. Guests enjoyed onboard activities, such as classical music concerts in the atrium, various acrobatic performances, and of course, enjoying time out in the sun by the pool. DJ Kev was really grooving, and so was this guy. We attended a lot of the evening activities as well, Got a reminder of the Macarena moves and of how much I suck at the guitar compared to this guy. During these two days, I spent most of my time gathering footage for the weekly videos I had to deliver to my client. And the best part for me was undoubtedly being surrounded by water and enjoying sunsets out in the open. And after 48 hours at sea, we made our way back to land for another exciting day off the ship. So if we take this road, we can go yeah. all the way to Germany. Yeah, 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 yeah. Excellent. Quick pit stop in the middle of this desert rocky area to get some water. Uh, I think we're halfway in a tourist place where they're trying to get us to buy stuff, I guess. Okay, this is what Jordanian money looks like. Forty degrees today, so I think we're gonna need this. So far, ten forty. Yeah. <laughs> right? Looks good. Yeah. <laughs> All right. After a long drive yeah, and a few days at sea, we've made it to Petra, and we're dressing like the locals do. We get in. We get our uh, headscarves because it was hot, and we need. We of course did not bring hats, so we needed to protect our heads for the day. Um, after that, we go through security and they take my drone away. So that was a bummer to start off uh, the day. Um, I had seen so many shots of Petra from up above and I wanted to get that video, cool intro shot for, uh, for this video. And um, yeah, they said no drones allowed. What really frustrated me later was that someone from our ship had brought the same drone and actually got away with it. So uh, frustrating, but move on. <laughs> After checking in my drone, we decided to take a horse ride. All right, we're about to take a horse to, to go halfway, I guess. The horse ride was really short, really quick. Yeah. As you can see, I'm not the most comfortable on a horse. I don't know why, I just, there's no experience. Like, hey, you need to learn. It's one of those things that, you know, it's one of those things on my bucket list, learn how to ride a horse. Uh, definitely not comfortable right now with the way I can handle myself on a horse. <laughs> Slowly is nice. Mm -hmm. We got off, the rest of the trip we walked and it was really cool because we got to see these rock formations, these canyons. And 
and to get that footage is really interesting. What's up? We didn't take the camels, but we're in Petra. We get to the site. Beautiful, wonderful Petra that everyone knows, everyone's seen in photos, and there's just thousands of people there already, super early in the morning. Uh, it's one of those places I like to call Disneyland because there are people everywhere. But that being said, even though there's, you know, crowds all over the place and they're trying to sell you stuff, magnets, get you to do a camel ride, it's still worth it. It's like, you know, going to see the Eiffel Tower or the Taj Mahal, you're going to wait in line, you're going to be around a lot of tourists, but it's so worth it. There's a reason why these people are there and there is a re there, and this is the same reason why you're there in the first place. got our shots um, and uh, we headed out because uh, the cruise is on a schedule and we usually sail about 5 or 6 p.m. because we need to sail the night and uh, there's a curfew basically and the one thing that's frustrating about that is that we can't see Petra by night and it's the same thing in Santorini but it's just the way it is. Went back, uh, got on the ship, and then realized Shit, we forgot our tripod in the car. So I sprinted down, but luckily there was one person that was very late. Uh, in fact, so late that the crew's uh, people, uh, the, the crew, had already packed his bags, I think, or maybe that's completely wrong, but the crew had already like prepared his passport in case he sh didn't show up at all. Uh, so, because the ship leaves, there, there's 5,000 people on board, and we're not going to wait for one person that's late and then hasn't notified the ship. So, keep that in mind. Be on time. Very important. So, I ran off, and uh, one, of, one of the guys, Xavier, there, uh, we got in a car and we were sprinting through the parking lot to meet our taxi driver who was bringing back the tripod. So, I gave him, I gave him a big tip and we ran back. And I thought I filmed everything, but I hadn't. Uh, so, I just want to share with you that there was a bit of a hectic moment there. It was really funny, and I really wish I had footage of it. I think I have a few photos from my Snapchat at the time. But there you go. We did not lose an, ex an expensive piece of equipment and we're ready to go on the next one. So if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. Uh, make sure to go on Instagram and follow me there as well because I had a photo a day uh, of this whole 49-day cruise journey, uh, Silk Road journey. So make sure to check that out. It's in 2017, so you have to kind of scroll down, but you will find it. And hope to see you soon for more content.